Hello all, welcome to my channel Indian Travel B. Today I am going to present you the most awaited bike Ado A28. Actually we all know at the starting of this year Ado has blasted the entire e-bike world market by launching its Ado A20 which says goodbye to the chain belt drive and welcome the new carbon belt drive. So which increased the speed of the bikes and which reduced the entire maintenance based on the feedback from the customers and the reviews from the customers and also the continuous R&D development. Ado has launched a new bike that is Ado A28 which also works with the carbon belt drive and also has a torque sensor with the lock-in suspension system and all. Uh, and it also has the automatic headlamp lot more let's explore all the features of the ado a28 by one by one and as you know that ado will send the bikes to the customer as a do-it-yourself bike let's assemble the bike yeah from the video you can see the rear wheel of the bike was already attached to the frame and the handle also is attached to the frame and you can see it's a seat post battery and these are the fenders for the front and rear and this is the front tire which we have to assemble it and these are the pedals left and right and also the tools to assemble the bike and also they provide us the charger the brand new charger to test the bike Ta-da! This is how the bike looks like after assembly. Let's power on the bike. The power button is present below the seat. To power on the battery, then you have to power on the uh, controller also, which is present on the handle. So you can see there are three buttons. One is plus, minus, and the power button. Just you have to long press the power button. There you can see the auto symbol. This is the belt drive and this belt drive is connected to the motor which is present on the back side and the motor rating is the 250 watt and it can support up to a max speed of 25 kmph and it has a CE sticker on top of it. The tail lamp is powered by the two AAA batteries which are already provided by the ADO. The tail lamp has more brightness at the night. Let's see on the front side. On the front side we have a four holes and these four holes are used to attach the front basket. And the front basket is an optional one you can buy it from the ado website this is the automatic headlamp which works on the principle of automatic photo sensitive sensor whenever there is a change in the natural light automatically the lamp will be turned on and also it has an adaptive brightness feature the headlamp will become brighter uh, whenever we have a more brightness on the natural light then automatically the headlamp reduces its brightness let's check the battery ado is providing the same type of battery which they provided for the ADO 820 that is the C post battery and right now ADO is providing the 36 volts lithium seat post battery for the ADO 828 they are providing as a charger which may take 4 to 6 hours for full charge this is the place where we insert the battery on the back side of the battery you can see there are two connectors the top connector is used to charge the battery the bottom connector is used to connect the bike here ado is providing an option to manually turn off the suspension so that you can use it whenever you require mainly at uh, gravel area or at terrain area to drag the bike ado has designed a provision to place an a tag inside the belt so if you want but the a tag has to be purchased separately you can buy the air tag and you can keep it inside the belt now it's time to ride the bike now i'm trying the gear one so when i press the gear one i'm having the same uh, same color as green so just i'm giving a little bit pedal Slowly, I'm increasing my pedaling a little bit. Keep it in. Well, two. Yeah, you can, guys, you can see there is the change in the color. Right now, previously it was green, right now it went to blue color. You can see I'm getting around 19 kmph. around 23 let's change the 
other mode. for the three also uh, the color has not changed it is still in the three but i kept the maximum the modes as like up to five from zero to five i activated the zero mode speed also i think i can increase up to some 25 also yeah let's quickly take the next and increase it into after switching to the gear 4, I noticed that there is a change in the two, uh, magenta. With the less pedaling, I am maintaining the same speed and there is no issue with this one. What I think is the gear 3 is enough uh, to maintain in the cities. If you want a more speed, then you can move to the gear 4. With the gear 4, you can give very less effort. Let's change to gear 5. In the gear 5, I have seen that in the gear 5, the bike is moving with the full speed and I think I can cross 30 kmph also with this if I give a more pedaling. But with the less pedaling, I am easy to attain at 25 kmph speeds. Slowly, I'm yes, guys, you can see the uh, design of the handle so you can see it with an ergonomic uh, design and also you can see that I am increasing the speed from using this button which is very handy it's not like uh, we had to use the two, uh, two hands or not like that so with one hand you can control the speed and everything uh, and also you have the power button here itself and uh, from here you can see what are the things while driving the main things are like the speed uh, the gear level which you are using and what is the maximum speed and in this video I had checked the speeds of the Ado 8. Uh, I had checked the different speeds on the different gears. First, start with the gear 0, where the Ado will not provide any, uh, any modern to the bike. Uh, with the 0 gear, I can attain a speed up to nearly to 27, but I can go more. But I tried up to 27 kmph. And let's go with the switch to gear 1. And I am able to maintain the speed 27 for gear 1 and for gear 2 but I am doing a little bit pedaling only so I am not giving the more pedaling like a normal bike but I reduce the pedaling so the same thing with the gear 3 with the less pedaling I am going to attain more speed and also I am able to travel very fastly and I can feel that next let's switch to the gear 4 in the gear 4 and gear 5 it's amazing so i am able to go with the more speed but one minus is that you will eventually will reduce the battery level also so for the city ride i suggest you you can use the gear 3 but if you want to go for a more speed then you can go for a gear 4 and gear 5 but you should keep it in mind that gear 4 and gear 5 will consume more battery yeah in this shot you can see that uh, how i applied the brakes for uh, different gears while applying the brakes also i didn't find out any issue i think Ado can give us an option where we can adjust the brakes so i have tested two bridges and these two bridges are having nearly the 10 percent of inclination rate right? and uh, they are little uh, the second pitch is little bit steeper but i didn't face any issue while driving on the bridges and also i tried some of the bridges in amsterdam uh, i have not seen any issue with the bike and also on the bridges i have uh, i noticed that the bike is very stable but to conclude this review i can say that Ado has done a great work on the city commute back with the, by launching the Ado 828 which is covering the carbon belt and torque sensor, automatic headlamps with this removable seat post battery and the bike is very lightweight. 5 gear changing system and also they have a zero gear and it was a do yourself bike and the brake response is too good. Fast response at the signals and, the, and it has a best pickup at the bridges and the stability of the bike is perfect and we have the responsive display with, which supports the Google Maps navigation navigation for tracking they have provided an option to keep the a tag range of 100 kilometers and which can go up to the 25 kmph speed here i want to say you one more thing ado is launching two variants one is c version and the other one is the international version for the c version they are providing 25 kmph speed and for the international version they are providing use the 35 kmph speed the colors they are providing are vibrant one is green and other one is the, the gray and here i suggest some of the modifications to the ado right now i can see the braking system it was constant but can give us some options manually we can change the brake response some people might like very fast braking some people will like the the standard braking
with the current design i think it is going very fast up to the 27 kmph i think it's not required but it's better if you add a manual carrying system also to lock the battery they are providing a seat post locks which are available in the adobe website instead of manual locking system they can give some digital pass lock uh, system so that which will be connected to the bike itself so that with the password only we can remove the battery so it will be an advantage for most of the people so not to carry many locks and also it's better if they give us an option uh, to restrict the speed of the bike if you want to go only up to 25 kmph then you can lock it so it's better if ado can provide like this options in their display as the display is very big so they can include many things and also based on the display i can say that they can improvise the app at a total i can say that this is the best bag you can buy for the city ride and also you can use this thing at the countryside and also at any remote locations everywhere to know about the more details of the ado 828 and also about the ado things there is a facebook page available i have posted the link of the facebook page you can join in that page and you can see the discussions what was happening with the ado 828 and ado is right now is selling the bike from the crowdfunding that is from indigo website which i pasted the link of the website so you can buy the bike from there if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe thank you all